Good morning, folks. Having a look at the RSOE, there was a 5.1 earthquake yesterday in the Rat Islands of Alaska. A little bit further east, there was a fairly large earthquake in the Northwest Territories. Many of you know that the United States did not have a good go of it last night in terms of extreme weather. Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, Georgia, Alabama, Missouri, Illinois, they all saw tornadoes yesterday. There are deaths reported. This uh, image is nowhere near fully updated. The damage reports are still coming in. And it looks like in 24 to 48 hours, maybe slightly longer we got another front coming through we also did just recently have a fairly large earthquake for the far eastern part of the caribbean plate taking a look at some of the headlines for today the greek sovereign debt rating gets cut again i'd like to thank financial guru 35 for sending me this article this is a very good read if you're interested in the financial world and last but not least in terms of uh headlines like this what is there to say? But if you want to perk up your spirits a little bit, read about this little guy. He really is immortal and it puts a smile on your face. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the sun. We have been waiting for this for a while and the sun has been in a period of very low activity, but it had an M3 flare, which is what you just saw there, and it came out of this solar active region turning a limb. Now, if this looks enormous to you, that's because this is enormous. This is the largest solar active region that I believe I have ever seen. See that little solar active, uh, the little sunspot out in front of the bigger one? That is a huge sunspot in and of its own right. I don't even know how to classify this, uh, that monstrosity. Uh, and just a little bit south of that leviathan over the southeastern limb, we do have another solar active region that popped out of nowhere and is already magnetically complex. We're definitely going to have to watch both of those. Luckily, the Earth footprint is all the way on the other side of the sun, or at least almost all the way on the other side of the sun. But if any of those solar active regions put out a strong flare, that is going to be geo-effective as it is on the Earth-facing disk. Now don't forget that would mix with the coronal hole stream that is going to be striking us this weekend. And don't forget we also do have two fairly significant planetary alignments. You can see the dark coronal holes there and some magnetic filaments writhing all over the sun. Let's watch it, folks. Be safe. 